Hello everyone and welcome back for one of my episodes in UE4. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an experience par and leveling system. Okay, so as a demo here is one in the left hand corner and I've tied it to my X key on my keyboard. If I just hit X you can see the bar appears and grows and animates and will level up when we exceed experience points. So this is quite simple to do, um, so it'll probably take two episodes. Um, let's go into here, okay, and let's start off with a component because that's how I've got this working. So I've chosen to do it on a component, but you can do it on directly onto the player character if you wish. Uh, I've done a component because I may want this component to be also on enemies or other NPCs or want to level up them as well. Okay, so it could have like party members, for example. I could apply that to them too. So totally up to you how you want to do this, but I'll put it onto an actor component. So in our actor component, we're going to make several variables. And these variables on the left hand side, we're going to click on the little plus symbol and make uh, new variables. So the first one we need is the current level of the player. And this will be uh, a integer. And we make another one, and we can go level cap. That's going to be the maximum level the player can reach. Click compile, and we're going to set the default values of level cap to be 20. Again, it could be whatever you like, and the current level to be 1. So now we're going to add more variables. Click on the plus symbol. This one's going to be current XP, and that's going to be a float. Another one, current max XP, and another one, current percentage, and another one for um, buffer XP. So you should have six variables in total, two integers, four floats. And we're going to make several functions for this to work. So the first function we're going to make is a nice, quick, simple one called calculate percentage. And calculate percentage is very simple. All it is is your lowest number, so current XP, above the greater number, which in this case is current max XP, and you want to divide them both. So the current XP is divided by the max XP. And this will return a value between 0 and 1. Now the reason why we need to do this is because on the widget for the user interface, the bar goes between 0 and 1. So we need to convert our numbers into a percentage or a fraction. So this is going to be a fraction, and the fraction will then we'll set into our current percentage. Oh, not get, sorry. Set current percentage with that sum. Click compile and that's done there. The next one we're going to do is go new function and we're going to make calculate max XP and the max XP is going to be a basically uh, an, uh, an algorithm, uh, an equation of your own design that will determine how much the player will progress over time. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and do current max XP multiplied by another float 1.7. So this will get, make it 70% larger. Okay. So this could be any kind of maths, math, uh, mathematical equation you want. It could be as crazy as you like with all sorts of things. Okay, but I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Now, this is going to give me probably a decimal number at some point. So what I want to do is actually I want to uh, cut off the decimal. And I'm going to round it up by using the F seal function. Seal for like ceiling and F for float. So it's going to turn the float into a ceiling. So it's going to round it right up and spit out an integer. Now, I want to set the um, max XP, so drag current max XP and choose set. And if I hook the integer to the float, it should convert it for me. 
Okay, which it does here. Converts integer to a float. And that's it there. Click compile and close that. Next function, click on plus and call add XP. Now add XP is the big one as this will add experience points to our system. So we need an input for this. So on the right hand side with the purple node selected, choose input new parameter. And this is going to be called uh, added XP. And it's going to be a float. And the way it works is we're going to add the XP to a buffer XP. The current XP is the thing that basically for effect is going to be chasing the buffer XP bar. So the buffer XP, if I drag that out, choose get. I'm going to add these two together. And then I'm going to set it back into the buffer XP variable. Okay, and that is it. That's all you have to do. Click compile and close. The next function we need is the level up function. And leveling up function will allow us to level well level up. So we're gonna do first thing we're gonna do so is we're gonna check whether or not we can actually do level up. So we can go current level, choose get, level cap, choose get, and I want to test whether or not our current level is greater than or equal to the level cap. Hook that into a branch, and if that's true, it means that we are at max level and cannot level up. But what I want to do instead is I want to set the current XP and the buffer XP both to the current max XP. Just so it keeps it nice and capped and doesn't exceed any values that it shouldn't do. Okay. So on the false is where we're going to do our leveling up. So we're going to do an increment. So plus plus increment int because current level is an integer. Drag current level into the increment. And increments increase by one. Okay, so just add one to the current level. From there, we're then going to store how much experience points we have exceeded the max XP by. So go to local variables, click on the plus, and I'm going to call it remaining XP. Drag it out and choose set. Hook that all in. And we calculate the remaining XP by taking the buffer experience, choose get, and uh, taking away the current max XP. Once we've done that, we can then calculate the new max experience points. After that, we want to reset the current XP back to zero and the buffer XP back to zero. Reason being is because we want the bars to return back to zero and that's how we do that there. We've stored the value how much we have left in this local variable, so don't worry about that. So once we've done that, we are then going to simply just call the add, uh, add XP function so drag add xp out and hook that into there like so and the added xp will be that remaining xp added in so we're going to call the function again to add experience points of that remaining xp function and we're going to click compile and that is the level up function so to recap we are checking the current level is at level cap or not if it is we're just going to cap off the current xp and buffer xp if we're not at level cap, we're going to increment the level, store how much experience points we have exceeded the max XP by, calculate the new max experience points, reset current XP and buff XP back to zero, and then add XP back onto uh, our system with the remaining XP variable. Close this, and on the main event graph here, we're going to go on begin play, and drag a calculate percentage and on the tick is where we're going to do the actual adding of the current XP so it meets the buffer XP so to do that you go current XP out here choose get 
and we're going to use a function function called f interp two. And the interpolation basically means it's going to take this value and make it go towards this value over a certain amount of time and speed. So the target is going to be the buffer XP and the delta time we're going to delta seconds and the interpolation speed is going to be 5. With return value uh, we're going to split that back into the current XP. So drag current XP, choose set and hook that into there like so. Once we've done that we want to recalculate the percentage because current XP has changed. So drag calculate percentage here and plug that in. From there, we're then going to check whether or not our current XP has now met or exceeded the maximum XP. If it has, we're going to level up. So go current XP, get, max XP, get. If current XP is greater than or equal to, float, and we'll go to a branch. So if current XP is greater than max XP, we can go true, level up. So drag the level up function in here, and that's it. Now one thing we do here at the start of this tick is we are going to fix this line here because much like our calculate max XP, this function is going to return a lot of decimals. What we're going to do is round it up so we get a nice hard number. So on return value, we'll drag that out and go uh, F seal again and round it up and then hook that into there and it should convert it back into a float for you. Okay, click compile and we are done. Close that and you can now add it to your player character. So add component leveling system. Compile and we are done. And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to create the widget and tie the widget towards this code. Okay. And um, hopefully get all done in that episode there and then and get all working all, uh, all good for you. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe and share. And uh, if you like what I do and want to support me, please go to Patreon. Um, so patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. And for just $1, uh, a month you can get access to videos two weeks ahead of time so if you want to see the second part of this episode right now uh, you can head over there subscribe and support and uh, watch the video right there and then any money i receive will go back into making these videos better and, uh, and uh, better quality with better equipment and also help me towards uh, developing my own games and projects and which i can then share with you guys and offer more rewards and more uh, incentives like so Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.